Hi everyone, my name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and among my many adventures in the craft, I have what I call my path of the week. This is a mantra or a practice that I like to have uh, that makes moving forward in my profession even more smooth and more fun. Now, although I'll be referencing my work as an audiobook narrator here, uh, the path that I'm proposing each week is something that I believe can be applied to just about any kind of life process. You let me know if uh, that's true for you. This week's path is what I'm calling the wins path. Always winning. Um, now, what does that mean? That means that uh, as I'm going along, I am counting wins. This is something that Lisa Nichols rec recommends, and um, I, I think it's great. Now, I used to, at the end of my day, try to sum up like 10 wins that happened for the day. But now I'd like to uh, be able to count my wins as I go along on an hourly basis, even on a, on a every minute basis. I believe that there are three kinds of wins that are always available to declare. Uh, three I's. The instant win, the investment win, and the incubator win. Now, let's go over the uh, instant win. Uh, this is uh, about uh, preparing character voices, which I'm doing today uh, for a book that's coming up. Now, the instant win, um, I wrote to my author with a proposal for a new and uh, perhaps uncertain kind of voice. Uh, in other words, I wasn't sure if it was going to be her cup of tea, but she got back to me almost instantly saying, bullseye. All right. Yes. Instant win. Great. Okay, now we go to investment win. I wrote to the author um, asking about four other characters just to make sure I had their regionality uh, set so that the author and I are on the same page, no pun intended. Um, I then went on with my day. I'll be checking back in to see. That's not particularly exciting, but it will lead almost surely to a winning pathway as I go along. So that's an investment win. Yes, good, a win. Now, the third type of win is meant to combat oppressive positivity. Um, in other words, when things are kind of sucky, don't try to resist and say, no, it's all good, it's all good, it's a win, it's a win, it's a win. No, 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 let it be sucky. Let yourself uh, move through that suckiness. An example is that uh, there's still a character in there uh, that I just don't feel like I have it yet. Um, and maybe I just won't ever have it. It's just, it's not clicking for me. Um, now, I'm just going to feel that. Blech. However, there's still a win there, which is I could uh, come to a state of serenity and just be like, you know what? I'm going to move on and do that character the way I currently have it because it's probably going to be uh, just fine for everybody else. Or... Maybe I put a bit more time into it and I come out with something that feels great. A comeback. Comebacks are even more satisfying than the instant win. Um, so, uh, and serenity is also uh, in its own way an investment win. So this is what I call an incubator win. It is something where, ugh, bluck, but from that sludge is going to blossom something uh, later on as long as I'm open to it and as long as I'm working towards that. Um, I believe that counting wins as I go along is going to make me uh, even more positive with my process. It's going to give me energy. It's going to give me momentum. And it'll probably make me even more generous and inspiring for my collaborators. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. You let me know how it goes for you. And as your audiobook narrator, I hope that my voice and your ears meet again real soon.